afternoon. I'm Amy Jackson. I'm the president of the Catissa County Chamber of Commerce, and today we're at Thrive Farm in Lafayette, Georgia, in Walker County, and this is our first ever, I think, uh, three chamber ribbon cutting, and we are so excited today. We have Ashley Givens with the Walker Chamber, Allie Hart with the Greater Dalton Chamber, and again, Amy Jackson with the Catissa Chamber, and we all want to welcome you, Susan Mitchell, to our chambers. Yeah. You have jumped in. Absolutely. Give her a round of applause. Susan has jumped into all three chambers with both feet and has just become an active part, and we just appreciate that so much. I know I've been out here, I've had the privilege of coming out to your farm one other time when you had the Walker Chamber uh, uh, Leeds Group lunch out here, and it is a beautiful location, and we just want you to be, we want to help support you and what you're doing in Walker County and to put, get the word out so that people will know what's here, okay? So I'm going to let uh, Allie talk just a minute from Dal Greater Dalton, and then we're going to give it to you to tell us all about what's here, Okay. Welcome, I'm Allie Harp. I'm the project manager for the Dalton Whitfield Joint Development Authority, representing the Greater Dalton Chamber of Commerce. Beth sends her wishes, she wasn't able to make it today, but I wanted to congratulate you on your membership. Uh, this is a beautiful property and we are so excited to get out of the county today. So <laughs> this is a, it's been a pleasure and thank you guys for joining us and coming out here and, and uh, to our local members as well. Um, this is a great opportunity to uh, welcome you, and, and if you need us, we're here for you. Awesome, thank you so much. They sent the farm girl out to the farm, so <laughs> this is all, all my, um, I love every bit of it. It's all good. And we do uh, appreciate all of our chamber ambassadors from all three chambers that have come out to, to learn more about your business, and so they can, when they're out doing what they do, they can tell us what, what's here. So awesome. tell us about Thrive Farm in Lafayette, Georgia. Thank you all for being here. Thank you so much, Amy, and thank you both so much for being here for, from the other chambers. I really appreciate it. Can you guys hear me back there? Okay, my teacher voice. Um, so I did write a speech. I'm going to read it so I don't leave stuff out. So Thrive Farm was born to provide a healing space for humans suffering from the human experience. In 2020, most people feared COVID, but I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had double mastectomies on the last day Erlanger was admitting for elective surgeries. Yes, mastectomies were elective. So I awoke after the fear fog of a cancer diagnosis to the awareness that I was not living in alignment with peace and purpose. Lorraine, would you open that door and let my Yorkie out? <laughs> <laughs> it is the farm. I mean, come on, right? Just, I was worried he was going to get stepped on. There he comes. Okay, that's Theo. Um, he's been through all of it with me, by the way. Out of anybody else, Theo's been through it all. Um, so I woke after the fear fog of a cancer diagnosis to the awareness I was not living in alignment with peace and purpose. I had accomplished a lot. I was a teacher, a school principal, and I built and ran a multi-million dollar medical practice but I was in a toxic marriage, and it turned out he was a grandiose narcissist. The beginning was so good and the ending was so bad. Ironically, today on this momentous occasion for me, it commemorating my new beginning, it's also National Narcissistic Abuse Awareness Day. <laughs> Bizarre, right? Who knew? After my cancer awakening, I found myself in a depression. I was scared to leave and knew staying was out of alignment with my integrity. I was trapped by materialism and ego. I knew something had to change, but I was lost and afraid. It was then that I started my healing journey, focusing on wellness. Included in my journey were equine therapy, coaching, therapy, Tai Chi, Pilates, yoga, mindfulness, spending time in nature, and reading tons and tons of self-help books. The modalities that most impacted me to reconnect with myself and my soul were mindfulness and equine therapy. In fact, I wish the horses were out today. JW, who is a 32-year-old Palomino, was my therapy horse, and he taught me that I needed healthy boundaries. He is semi-retired here now at Thrive Farm. I don't know where Kristen from Solia is. She was gonna be here but she also has six kids, so anything could happen. Um, but he came from Kristen's farm, and um, just last night, I got a message from JW's owner from when he was 16, ages 16 to the age of 24. So JW, um, owned, she was 16 to 24 when she owned JW, and he was 16 to 24. So they're both turning 33, and she reached out to me and messaged me and said, 
I am so glad to see that he has such a good home. He deserves to be treated so well. And it just like, it was just such a blessing to my heart to just hear from one of his other previous owners um, that she could still, you know, see. And he, he's just made, he has made a difference in so many lives, it's unbelievable. So, um, off script, sorry. Thrive Farm is here to provide a safe and healing space for all. I offer equine therapy for people of all ages, struggling in some way with life, school, relationships, work, or self-compassion. My passion is to provide multimodality in-person life coaching, incorporating mindfulness, equine therapy, and coaching using a wellness model I collaboratively, sorry, I've been sick, collaboratively designed while at UTC taking classes and counseling. For those who would like the full experience but do not live close by, I also offer individualized breakthrough weekends and retreats here at the farm. Thrive Farm is here to provide a peaceful and healing space for travelers with an Airbnb log cabin on property as well as two glamping tents and um, helping individuals reconnect to their passion and pur purpose in order to self-actualize. You're welcome to walk the property and tour the log cabin the log cabin's empty today. It's been booked, and it will be booked again starting tomorrow until mid-July. So that's been a really great um, blessing here as well for people. Um, but you're welcome to go inside today. The red door is unlocked, um, and there should be lights on. And if you or a loved one is struggling after a big change or life transition, a loss, chronic stress or anxiety, I'd love to talk to you and see if my programs are just the thing you need to heal, recover, and reclaim your life. Thank you all for joining me today. Really, thank you all for joining me today. All of you. Thank you to my home chamber, Walker Rocks. Thank you to the Catusa Chamber. Thank you to the Dalton Chamber of Commerce. And to everyone else, because you could have chosen to be anywhere today doing your usual things, but you chose to take the time to come to Thrive Farm today, and for that, I am honored and blessed. Please enjoy the food, the music, and the farm. Feel free to walk the property, and if you're interested in meeting the horses, in a little while, I'll change my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you guys all so much. But my website is www.thrivefarmga.com. You can find more information. I'm on Facebook as well as Thrive Farm. And I'm happy to talk to you personally as well. So, what? <laughs>